welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be starting um, another small project here on my 2006 uh, Mustang convertible. And I just got back from work. Uh, I ventured out about four o'clock in the morning to, uh, before anybody else gets in because we're still in the middle of this pandemic. Um, what happened is, uh, let me kind of lean back here and um, you should be able to see the steering wheel. Uh, the steering wheel is really marked up. It doesn't look very good. I tried putting on a, uh, a cover and it just makes it too thick and it just looks real crappy. So I, I really don't like this. So what I'm going to do is really a, I guess a two part series on um, fixing a steering wheel. What I'm going to try and do is take the original steering wheel and refresh it, but then I've got another thing that I'm actually going to do first. Um, but let's look at this steering wheel and as you can see, I don't know if it's heat damage, a uh, combination over here of perhaps somebody wearing rings, but all the silver is really marked up really bad. So what I plan on doing is <clears throat> sanding all this down and taking care of all that and repainting all the finish here. The leather itself is kind of scarred up as well. So I purchased a couple things to repair the steering wheel. Uh, if I can reach behind and the first thing I have is actually a leather repair kit. Uh, this has dye in it. Uh, it has a couple other things that will help repair the, uh, the steering wheel leather. The other thing that I'm going to use, if I can get it here, is going to be some super glue. Uh, what I'll do is put super glue in the different areas where there's gashes in the, um, in the leather. And then just before it dries, I'm going to sand the leather a little bit with uh, fine grit sandpaper. And that will help fill in the gaps. And then I'll take the leather kit and then I'll re whoops, get it right side up here. Uh, I'll re-dye it black. So hopefully between uh, sanding this repainting and doing that, I should be able to refresh the steering wheel. But what I plan on doing, let me grab this here and it's actually kind of heavy. <sighs> let me move this over. I actually got a, another steering wheel from I believe a 2005 GT. Now, this is just the standard steering wheel, no leather on it. It has the rubber uh, grip and actually it feels pretty good. However, the top was just a little bit worn. So I think the driver was one of these kinds who drove like that. Uh, I'm pretty much a nine and three or, uh, you know, I used to be 10 and two. And then I got down to, I think eight and four, but I actually prefer to hook my thumbs over and that gives me some real good turning radius without having to pull or spin around and things like that. So my plan is, is to take this steering wheel. I got a fake leather cover, which also includes the thread and needle. So you'll see the colors right here. And I'm going to wrap the steering wheel with the new fake leather. This is what I plan on installing in the meantime. So I'm going to actually do this first, get it all recovered. Hopefully it's all going to look fine. Then I will take the guts out here, replace the steering wheel. Then I'll work on this. I'll make the decision which one I like the best and whichever one I don't like the best, either I'm hanging it up on the wall behind me or I'm going to sell it. So for the rest of this video, you're going to see me wrap this steering wheel. So let's get to it. I'm going to bring it over to my workbench. Okay, so we've got the leather. <clears throat> we've got two different colors of uh, thread and needles. Now, there is a seam down the middle here. And what I'm thinking that I want to do is hide it. And that will be at the bottom. Now this is a very tight fit, <clears throat> so I'm going to try and get on as much as possible. 
I'm probably going to kick myself because I actually did this before. So you can see at the top here, some of the, uh, the rubber is chewed up. There we go. Okay. That was actually easier the second time around. Let's see. That is going to be a good fit. <clears throat> All right, I'm really close to being dead on center with the seam. So let's see here. So here's the seam and I'm pretty close to dead on center. Now I want to make sure that this is rotated in so that my seam will be close to dead center as well. All right, I'm just going to rip that. Yeah, it's actually more like a nail. And a needle. Oh, seriously? Let's knot this. Oh, good heavens. They probably did this very easy, but I can't see where it is. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. I'm going to try and slide this knot off. Yep, that did it. This feels like a heavy waxed thread. Ha! I did it the first try. I'll be darned. Okay, so let's see if I can show you how I'm going to do this. <clears throat> As you can see, there is stitching right here and on the other side. So my goal is I'm going to put it tight and then I'm going to thread through the stitch to the other one and pull it tight so hopefully that'll tighten things up so it's rather than going through the leather itself it's going to be through thread uh, which actually should make this a lot easier let's see if you can see this and I'm debating whether I should start in the middle and work my way or start at one side. I think I'm going to start at one side.
let's see if you can see how I'm threading the needle here through those and you can see how the stitch is developing you can see I missed a stitch here but you know I was too far along to go and undo that if I was seeking perfection yeah or probably I probably would have um, un unknit it Okay, we're getting to the final three stitches or so, and this is the tough part. I'm trying to get it so that you can see, but you'll have to pardon me. That will do it. I'm going to get some scissors and I'm going to cut that. So now what I want to do is let me make sure that my stitching is all centered on the inside. And this is nice and tight. So let's get this in the middle here. And there we go. This took what? Uh, about an hour and a half or so. I'm kind of lost track. So let me see if I can show the stitching here. There we go. Not perfect, but considering what... Uh, there we go. Now you can really see it. Considering what those stick on, you know, whatever, 
Now the only thing that I don't like is this right here. You know, I kind of wish that you could trim it and put it underneath, but you know, for for what this is, I think this is not bad at all. Overall, this is what the finished product looks like. And I'm going to uh, do another video. So this is the end of part one, which was the introduction and the actual stitching of a leather um, steering wheel cover. And uh, then I'm going to do another video that is going to be how to actually, if, let's see if we can adjust things a little bit here. Let's see if we can look into the car. There we go. So somewhere in there is the steering wheel. There it is. So looking at the steering wheel, we're going to remove that steering wheel. We're going to take the clock spring and the, um, the airbag, and we're going to put it on this. And that'll all be installed. So that'll be another video. And that is it for this one. Hey, if you like what you see, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you later. And we'll catch you later.